Well, hey, hello everyone and welcome to today's show. With us today is Elle Mischler. Elle is a freshman at Mundelein High School. She enjoys doing gymnastics, diving, and dance. She also likes watching shows like The Office and Friends and movies like Pitch Perfect. Elle loves going to the beach in Boca Raton, Florida, where she likes to swim in the ocean with her cousins. Let's talk to Elle now. So, Boca Raton, Florida, how was it? Well, I've been there basically every Christmas for my whole life, almost, and I love going there because it just makes me feel happy because I get to be with all my family, but I don't get to see that often. So you said that you swam down in, mm -hmm. in Boca Raton. What, else, what other activities do you ha do there? Well, we are there usually for Christmas, so we open presents and stuff like that on Christmas, and usually my cousins and I, we just give each other little like gag gifts, which is really fun. And then we also go shopping sometimes because they have this really nice mall, outlet mall that's really cool. One time when we were there, we went to the, we drove down to the Everglades, which was kind of cool, and we got to see like a bunch of alligators and went on this fun boat ride. But most of the time, we just go to the beach or the pool or just hang out around the house and play games and stuff. So do you rent a, a house or anything down there? My aunt owns a house down there. It used to be my, gran my great-grandmother's house, and now my aunt has it, so we usually go there. That's pretty cool. So. Mm -hmm. How expansive is your family? Well, usually it's just me and my family, which is four, there's four of us, and then it's my mom's sister, who's ju it's just her, and sometimes her boyfriend will come, and then also it's my mom's other sister and her three kids, who also always come. How long do you spend um, down in Florida each Usually visit? Usually we spend like the whole Christmas break, so about two weeks. But my cousins usually just spend a week there since they have to go home um, and see their dad because their parents are divorced. So we always we always spend two weeks. Sometimes it's like not just in Boca. Sometimes we go other places as well, like with just my family, just the four of us. What's your favorite memory from Florida? My favorite memory in Florida is just being able to spend like a full week with my cousins because I get to see them. Probably I get to see them like twice a year, so it's nice that I get to see them over. Christmas and then we just like spend the time, all the time together that we can and we just go on the beach and swimming in the ocean is definitely my, be the best memory that I have from there. Um, have you had any other types of experiences, um, not so happy ones? Yes, I have. I've been stung when I was there three times by a man of war which are these like jellyfish things but they hurt worse. So I got stung on my finger once, I got stung on my foot and around my ankle one time. So where do these jellyfishes, well, like, where, were you, where were you swimming when you got stung by them? Well, I was basically just swimming like wherever because they can like sting you anywhere. They can be eight feet away from you when they sting you because they have really, really long tentacles. So I was just kind of like swimming in the ocean with my aunt and then they stung me and then I got out because it hurt really bad. Did you take a boat out there or did you guys kind of drift? No, it, we were pretty shallow. We were, um, we were pretty shallow in the water, um, so we were about like waist deep, and then I just got stung because they kind of swim wherever they want. So um, while you're at the beach, do you do like sandcastles or anything else that isn't swimming? Um, a lot of times we mostly just swim, but sometimes we'll play in the sand or I'll just like tan and just like hang out. Um, but most of the time I like to swim and then I like to surf sometimes. I've been surfing before and I like to boogie board. Is it hard to surf and do all those types of things? Yeah, it was hard the first time I did it, but then I got more used to it and I got better at it. All right, well, we'd love to hear more, but we have to get to another commercial break. Thousands of ways into the complex healthcare system. And United Healthcare has ways to make the system simpler, like virtual doctor visits. What happened here? I came in too hot.
Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the other has to say. Reminiscing this and that and having such a good time. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. Hi, welcome back to today's show. Um, before we had to cut to a commercial break, we were talking about the boogie boards and surfing and stuff. So how long did it take for you to get accustomed to uh, surfing? Well, I learned, I actually didn't learn in Boca Raton. I didn't learn how to surf there. I learned in New Jersey with where my aunt lives. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to surf with my sister. Um, I think I was maybe 11. Mm -hmm. And I just, we just really wanted to try it. It was pretty cold, but it didn't take me that long to like get the hang of it because I had good balance from all the years that I've been doing gymnastics. What's the difference between a boogie board and a surfboard? Well, the boogie boards, you mostly just ride on your stomach and then on surfboards, you actually stand up. Mm. You catch more waves. So you said that your years in gymnastics helped you with this. So what kind of experience have you had in a gymnastics field? Well, I've been doing gymnastics since I was two. I started with like the baby gymnastics and like mommy and me. And then I started doing competition gymnastics when I was seven. So I learned how to do like all the big tricks and stuff. And then I've been doing gymnastics, like I said, for 12 years and now I'm a level eight. So how's the weather? Um, I like the weather now because it's you know going into fall season and I love the fall. And um, <laughs> <laughs> but I really don't like snow. I hate cold weather, mm -hmm. especially snow. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's getting kind of cold in here. Yeah, sucks that I don't have a jacket, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I didn't see that in the forecast. I was going to snow today. Yeah, I didn't think it was, you know, since it's September. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is, especially inside. So what? what's your favorite part of fall? Um, <laughs> my favorite part of fall is pumpkin spice lattes mm -hmm. and wearing, like, sweaters and stuff. Do you ever, like, go skiing? Um, in the winter, I go skiing, like, not that often because I'm not good at, I'm not that good at it, mm -hmm. and I haven't gone in, like, five years, so I don't go skiing that often. Oh, cool. So, you said your favorite, uh, your favorite season was fall. Um, is there a particular reason? Well, my birthday is the first day of fall, so that's kind of why I love the fall, and I like the, I don't like it to be super hot outside, I like the, like the, like, coolish temperature, and I just... Falls like I like when the leaves change and I like going apple picking. Mm -hmm. So it's always fun. Plus, I mean, it's, it's it feels nice just mm -hmm. having like a jacket on a light one, just walk yeah. around in the fall. Yeah. What about for Halloween? Do you still go trick or treating? I don't think I'm gonna go trick or treating this year. I'm probably going to hang out with my teammates from swimming and diving, and we're probably just gonna watch like a scary movie or something like that. Mm. But if you were to go trick or treating, what costume would you? Um. Well, I don't know what I would do because um, last year I was an M&M, and that was pretty fun, so I probably would just do that again. Mm. It's easy. So would you ever consider dr dressing up like someone from The Office? Um, I don't think I would dress up from someone as, like from The Office because I feel like no one would really know what I would be in because I would just be in like a, like, like a, like a dress shirt or something like that. Mm. So I'd probably do like Napoleon Dynamite. My friends and I were talking about maybe doing that one year. And we never did, because my cousin did that one time, mm -hmm. and we were thinking about doing it, so, yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm hmm So, what kind of experience have you had trick or treat? Like, what was the best year for you? The best year was probably... I can't remember the best year, but last year was pretty fun, because me and my two other friends, we went trick-or-treating in my neighborhood, and we just kind of had a really fun time, even though we were kind of waiting for it. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. Well, we'd love to hear more, but we have to cut to another commercial break.
told me about this Candy Crush game at first, I thought, so what? But now I can't stop playing. <laughs> That's not how it works. I mean, it's so simple. It's like my car insurance. I say 15% in 15 minutes. Well, insurance could have saved you money in half that time. Three in a row. Sweet. 15 minutes for a quote isn't so sweet. Level two. Start with a quote from eSurance and you can save money on car insurance in half the time. Welcome to the modern world. eSurance, backed by Allstate. Click or call. Hi, welcome back to today's show with Al Mishler. Um, so before we went to cut to a commercial, we were talking about Halloween and stuff. So, um, what's your favorite type of candy? My favorite type of candy is anything sour. I'm not really like a huge chocolate person, so I like like sour gummy worms. Those are my favorite. So, um, uh, where did this? Uh, where did where did you get your uh, favorite type of candy? Like. Well, I don't really know because I've always loved, like, sour candies. I've never really been a huge, like, chocolate person. I mean, I like Hershey bars, but I, like, rather eat sour gummy worms or, like, sour patch watermelons. Those are pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just, always, I just always like them. So, uh, recently, or they made a Despicable Me 3, and in the first one they were talking about, like, gummy worms and stuff, uh -huh. right? Yeah, I saw that so movie. So, what, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Pitch Perfect 1 and 2. I love both of them. I just think they're so funny. And I really like the singing because I think they're really talented. So it's a good movie. Would you ever consider doing a cappella yourself? No, because I can't sing. I'm not a good singer at all. So I would never do a cappella. Mm. So uh, what's your favorite type of genre besides like musicals and stuff? For oh, for movies. For movies yes. I like anything like... I like any comedy. I'm not a huge like horror movie per, like fan, but people make me watch them, so I watch them anyway. And then they like really scare me. I hate horror movies, but I I will watch them if my like my friends want to. But I mostly like to watch comedies. I don't really love action movies because they like hurt my ears. And they mm -hmm. give me a headache because they're just too loud. But I mean they're okay. Depends on the movie. So are you going to be seeing it? Are they going to make you see oh, the no. movie? Oh no, I will. I refuse to see it. I saw the trailer and I got really freaked out, so I'm never gonna see that. <laughs> um, what, what other, uh, besides the Pitch Perfect series, uh, what other types of movies? Like, what's your favorite? My other favorites are Sisters with Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. That's a That's really a good funny, one, yeah. movie, funny movie. I love that movie. My sister and I watched that the first time I saw it. And then I also really like Bad Moms. That's a really good movie. It's really funny. I, yeah, I just like any comedy. Do you ever watch movies like that in school, like whenever it's bored, like when you're bored or something? Not really. I don't really watch TV in school. I kind of just like when I'm bored at school, I like usually just listen to music and play on my phone. So what's your favorite class in school so far? My favorite class is probably beginning media because it's the most fun out of all my classes because like my core classes are probably like really bo they're really boring. Mm -hmm. I mean they're like okay, but I'd rather be in a class like beginning media because you get to do fun like fun cool stuff and I recommend that other people should take it. So um, in your beginning media class, are there any inside jokes or? Yeah, we have some nicknames for people like G Money and Swag Boy. Swag yeah. Boy, that's an interesting name. Yeah, uh, I don't really know how he got his name, but everyone calls him Swag Boy now. I heard a rumor that Swag Boy actually, uh, he does something called Jill's Giving. Yeah, Swag Boy does like to go to Jill's Giving. Hmm. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about beginning media? Uh, my favorite part was, so far, was probably filming like the TV shows. Um, I really liked doing, like just being able to like do something really cool that I've never done in any other class before. It's like a whole new kind mm -hmm. of experience and yeah. outlook on a class. Yeah, it's very different from any other class that I've taken. Mm -hmm. So, going back to the nicknames and stuff, if you had to give yourself a nickname for the class, what would you uh, give yourself? I actually don't know. I. It's a great question. I actually have no idea what I would give myself. Alright, well, we'd love to hear more, but we, we gotta cut to another commercial break. There's something I can do about it. We gotta, we gotta go.
Marsha, what happened? Peter hit me in the nose with a football. I can't go to the dance like this. Well, I'm sure it was an accident, sweetheart. An eye for an eye. That's what Dad always says. I never said that, honey. Shut up! <laughs> Time to teach Peter a lesson. Marsha, eat a Snickers. Why? You get a little hostile when you're hungry. Better? Better. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Jan, this isn't about you. <laughs> it never is! <laughs> Hey, Dad, can we have some Doritos? Sorry, guys. I don't think I can reach that far. Please? I guess I'll have to eat them all myself. Oh, man, I'm getting pulled over. Mom, Dad's going to be a little late. And welcome back to today's show with L. Um, before we left, we were talking about school. Uh, do you do any sports in school? Right now, I'm in diving season, so that's pretty fun. And then in November, gymnastics season starts, which I'm really excited for. So how many years have you been doing gymnastics and diving? Well, gymnastics, I, I have been doing for 12 years through club gymnastics. So this is my first year doing high school gymnastics. And I've never done diving before, so this is my first year. So what, um, what, kind of ex what, ki what got you into these sports? Well, for gymnastics, when my mom, like my mom signed me up when I was a little kid, and then I just never lost the love for it. So I've always been doing that. And then for diving, my sister, she's a swimmer. So she kind of like made me do diving because they needed more people on the diving team. So she convinced me to do it because she, think, she thought I would be good at it from all the gymnastics that I've been doing for my whole life. I did gymnastics for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Didn't go well. But. Yeah, it's a very hard sport, and it's definitely not for everyone. No. Yeah. So for diving and stuff, do you? Uh, where do you take your skills, like from out from the sport to outside? Like, how do you incorporate that into maybe having fun or something like that? Well, diving is actually really fun. I didn't think I would like it because I just am so used to gymnastics. So I didn't think I would like going into the water versus like landing onto mats but I actually really like it and I think it's a really fun sport and I think anyone could really do it because you just kind of like throw yourself around and then you just like land in the water so it's pretty fun. Um, how do they score in diving? So they score on a 0 to 10 scale so if you like fail the dive completely you get a 0 and then if you do really well you mostly get a, like a 5, 6 or 7 that's kind of the average range for like a really good dive. So what, what's your average? Well, it depends on the dives. So like for the dives that I, like the more basic dives that look better, like that I perfected more, I probably could do like sixes. But then for like, when I competed in new dive, I got like a four or five. There's three judges. So they each give you a score and then they take all those scores, they add them together and then they multiply it by the degree of difficulty of that like particular dive. So like for example, a like a front, like one flip with two twists, it's worth like 2.3 in like dif degree of difficulty, and then the judges will score you based on like how well you executed it, and then they multiply that by the degree of difficulty. So what's your best score, personally? Well, I've only had two meets, and I don't remember my scores from either one of them, but I did pretty well on like learning, like getting my new dives in at the meets, and like getting good scores on them, like pretty good scores on mm -hmm. them. So what's your favorite type of diving? Well, I really like doing inwards, which is when you stand facing, like, you're facing backwards, but you're going to do a front flip. So I really like those, and yesterday I just learned how to do an inward one and a half, which is one and a half flip. So it's like a front flip and then into a dive, but like facing inwards. So those are really fun. And then this week I recently learned how to do a front one and a half. I was always scared of them. So that was really cool because I've been wanting to do that for the past like three weeks. Mm -hmm. So it was really good that I got it. So um, you said that what kind of recreational sports do you do? I mean, not per, like through programs or anything, mm -hmm. but 
maybe you enjoy playing that like with your brothers and sisters or something like that? Well, with my sister, sometimes we just mess around and play soccer in the yard because she's a soccer player, so she likes to just like kick the ball around. And sometimes I'll try to like score goals on her or whatever. So that's pretty fun. We like to do that. And my mom likes to play tennis, so sometimes we'll all go play tennis with the family. And then sometimes I'll go golfing with my dad. He really likes to golf. All right, I'm sorry, Elba, we have to cut to another commercial break. When I grow up, I want to file all day. I want to claw my way up to middle management, be replaced on a whim. I want to have a brown nose. I want to be a yes man. Yes woman. Yes sir. Coming sir. Anything for a raise, sir. When I grow up, when I grow up, I want to be underappreciated. Be paid less for doing the same job. I want sunshine blowing up my dress. Welcome aboard, folks. Just go ahead and take any empty seat that you see. Oh, I hope it's not contagious. Mm, so I do have it. When your mom wakes up, can you tell her about me? Hello, welcome back to today's show. I'm again here with Al. Who else? Um, so, in your history of sports, have you ever had any injuries? Well, through like the course of my gymnastics career, I guess you would say, um, I sprained my ankles like millions of times because I mean everyone like gets a sprained ankle here and there. And then I fractured my growth plate in my ankle when I was like eight. I was pretty young and I did it really like stupidly. I wasn't even doing anything cool. I was jumping up and down on a mat like during conditioning and then I like landed funny on it and then I like twisted it and I fractured my growth plate and I had to get a cast and I chose bright yellow and that was <laughs> not cute at all. So that was fun. And then I've also, I broke my nose when I was 10 and it's like technically still broken because I haven't gotten it fixed yet. So I have like a deviated septum and I was on beam, so this happened when I was first learning back handsprings on beam, and I was trying to do it with like, you're supposed to put your hands like this and not like this because you're on a four inch wide beam. Mm -hmm. So I was on the low beam and I thought that there were mats there, but I was like too, like there were mats next to the beam, so it was like floor level, but I was too like far up ahead, like in front of the mats, so I, my hands were going like this because I thought the mats were there, but they weren't. So I face planted into the beam and I broke my nose. And that was probably the most like traumatic um, injury that ever happened because I wouldn't do back handsprings again for like another three months because I was really scared that I was gonna hit my uh -huh. nose again. So yeah. Yikes. Yeah, so I have to get surgery on my nose, but they want me to do it when I quit gymnastics so that I don't re-injure it. Right. So when I'm done with like basically all like contact sports, I can get my nose fixed. So when do you think you will be uh, done? Well, this I probably will do gymnastics. Oh, probably gonna do all four years of high school. So probably before I go to college, I'll get my nose fixed. Mm. Yeah. So uh, any other injuries that non-sports related? I haven't had any non-sports related injuries because except like I stub my toes like every single day because I like I don't really know how I injure myself outside of sports. So I have, I've been lucky and haven't really had that many bad injuries except for my nose. So what other kind of uh, physical activities do you do? Hiking, skiing? Um, I don't really hike or ski, but I do, I'm really like into the arts. So I do theater and dance. So I've been dancing since I was a really little kid, but I just started in, like I quit for a while to do gymnastics, like just stick on gymnastics and then I got back into it and now I do point. So it's like ballet, like up on the tips of your toes, and that's really fun. And then I also have been doing theater for the past like three years. 
So I've been in different productions and plays that have been really fun. So broadcasting team, they film the theater stuff, mm -hmm. and if your play was to be featured and sold, like mm -hmm. in the DVD, how would you feel about that? I'd actually feel really cool about that because I'm not really scared to be on stage. I know a lot of people have stage fright, but I don't at all. I'm really comfortable up on stage, so I really like being on stage. It's really fun. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Um, Till next time. Yeah. <laughs>